Hey everyone, it's Angela here, uh, Spoonful Green, and today I wanted to share with you some things I put in the ground back in November, um, some things I put in the ground in um, February, and some things I'm going to put in the ground today. Now here in Indianapolis, our um, expected last frost date is April 29th, so the things I'm going to put in the ground today, also two weeks before our last frost date, and then I'm just kind of taking a gamble today to see if they um, are successful if I put them in the ground today because why not? So um, the first thing I'm going to plant in the ground today is this variety of mustards called Chinese bald head. It just looked wild on the website and I just wanted to try it. It's like my wild card. I Just a wild card plant that I wanted to try. I'm not going to be as exotic as I was last year. So this is, I wanted to narrow it down just to be more um, less variety, more production, but I did, I couldn't help myself, but do a couple of weird ones or wild ones. So this mustard bald is definitely, um, frost hardy and it sprouts in about five to eight days. Um, ideal temp is 55 to 70 and we'll sow them about a fourth of an inch deep, six inches apart, it says. And here we go. These are just little round little balls. Okay. I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, little guys. So you'll notice here's the bed I'm going to be sewing them in. And you'll notice I still have my cattle panels and my T posts up. And um, the ground is able to be worked in now, so I can get those t cattle panels and T-posts out. But I um, decided not to do tomatoes in this area this year because last year it's right next to some trees and it's pretty humid. And I felt like all my tomatoes dealt with a lot of pest pressure. I mean, they were just sickly. Pest pressure, no. Mildew and just sickly, just too much humidity and not enough sun. So I thought this would be the perfect place for lettuces and such. So this will be my lettuce and carrot garden this year. Okay, I got these guys all in. Cover them up lightly. Cool. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is I purchased some onions um, from Dixondale Farms out in Texas and I've ordered two batches but my first batch I got in February and the next one I'm getting in March and I purposely did that because I wanted to use my uh, low tunnels over the February onions if it got that if it gets cold enough before our last frost date and I need to and then the March ones I'm gonna put in the ground two weeks before our last frost date which is um, April 29th. I actually may put them in before that and just use the little tunnels on the second round. But anyways, here they are. And this is the 1015 Y Texas Super Sweet Yellow Onion. And some of them I probably sewed a little bit too close, but that's okay. I'm still learning. And then right there we have some lemon balm. I didn't know it was so, such a strong plant and overwintered so well. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is this bed over here. I was gifted some garlic and I put 54 cloves in the ground in November and then I covered them with mulch leaves from my yard and all 54 have come back. Look at them, they did great. So I'm gonna have a bunch of garlic and those were gifted to me from a friend, so I don't even know what variety they are. They could be this purple variety he had, but I'm just not quite sure. So, I just wanted to reach out and say hello, and if you're just itching to get into the garden and put something in there, do it. It's always an experiment. You got nothing to gain, nothing to lose, and everything to gain. Um, so have a great day. Peace. Like, subscribe, and Talk to you later.